Uh, yeah, I've read about Colonel Ellis in uh, a bunch of different books about Vietnam, uh, End of the Mouth of the Cat, various upside down, and uh, to be able to hear him actually talk, you know, the words from the man himself about what it meant to be a prisoner of war and what it meant to return with honor, uh, it was definitely, you know, it, it was sobering. And it brought made the entire, entire experience very real. Uh, well, in my three years here doing NCLS, this is like one of the most outstanding lectures that I've been to because he was able to share his experience and really give us a good lesson that I think I can use while I'm here. A lot of cynicism exists in this place, and he gave us a lot of good lessons to learn about courage and how to overcome that and have a positive attitude. I thought he was a brave hero. I could not imagine what he's went through in the past. I don't know if I have to in me to be in a camp for over five years. I salute Ted. Colonel Ellis' presentation, my favorite part had to be leaning into the pain and understanding uh, the pain you're going through. And that comes from knowing yourself, knowing yourself to know the right thing and know that the right thing that no matter how you do it, and if you do it, then your reputation will always be intact. So never have fear to do it and you have to have the courage to stand up and do what's right. So that was my favorite part of the presentation. Best thing I thought about Bill's uh, speech is just how he was able to share like a story that's really incredible for me to have something you know I don't even understand how they could have been through something like that, but to have his book here with those leadership lessons that he's learned and able to pass on now is pretty incredible to take that and be able to use that in my career now. So the most about Cornell's speech was that. I want everybody to pray every day, and that faith in God and in family was really important to him. So it's just good to see that leadership has some values that we can still relate to in terms of faith. So I was really glad to hear that. Uh, I just thought it was very inspirational. Uh, my father, my uncle served in the Vietnam War. Uh, my grandfather served in World War II. So just to sit and actually get another perspective, uh, especially somebody who was in Hanoi Hilton and captured, was an absolute honor to sit through and listen.